Today I want to talk about mental skills. I want to talk about what's called mental toughness training, peak performance coaching, sports psychology, a couple things. Number one, how enormously important this is, especially if you aspire to play at a top level. Every major league team, for instance, has a sports psychologist on staff. You simply cannot perform at the top level of your sport or your endeavor. It could be music, it could be art, it could be school. You cannot perform at that top level without mental skills. Okay, it's, it's not a mystery. You don't do anything without your brain. Your stomach doesn't work, your excretory system doesn't work, your lungs don't work, your heart don't work without thought. So how in heaven's name can you hit a curveball or run as fast as you can or shoot a basket or return a, uh, a, a, a volley or, or whatever you're doing? How can you do that without mind, without the top level of your mind? If you're aspiring to play at the top levels, let me explain something to you. If you go to a Division I football program where they have 100 guys on a team, Okay, and you go down the you go down the road and you go, where'd you play? How'd you do? And every single one of those guys at these big programs were all state, we're all conference, we're co we're captains of their team. Okay, so what separates that? What separates you as a performer? It's this. It's being able to play at your top level without the interference of fear without the interference of performance anxiety, anger management, all those issues that distract us, bad coach, your parents, your girlfriend, your schoolwork, all those things, how can you perform? How can you be in what you call the zone without knowing how to use your mind? Now, a couple of myths about this. Number one, which I'm talking about already, it's required. It's amazing to me when I go to a, a professional coach or a professional organization and most high-level college organizations, they get it right away because it is part of their programs. You get below that and, and they look at you like you have four heads. You don't know what you're talking about. And it doesn't make sense to me that you go to an academy and they've got programs, you're going to whatever, showcases or tournaments and everything. You're supposed to get to that high level. How are you supposed to do that without the single most important thing, which is mental skills? Number two, you're not broken. A mental skills performance coach does not fix you. Your high level performance is basically an equation. It goes like this, performance equal potential minus interference. Now when I say potential, potential is if you're capable of getting A's, that's what the teacher and your parents expects from you. If you felt that high level performance, whatever your sport is, that's what you expect, that's what you want. You don't want to be inconsistent. You want that high level because you know that that's your best, that's what you can compete with the best with. So we're not fixing you. Okay, we're making you, we're clearing that interference. If you're playing without it, be the equivalent of me running on this track here and putting rocks in my shoes so I could be in full of pain and go really slow. Oh, that, that sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? I'm going to take my shoes off and put rocks in there and run. That's whatever degree you're performing without these skills, that's what you're doing. So erase all the nonsense about, about this, this is a primary, it's the most important skill, is your mental skills. It is what's going to be, allows you to not only perform, but perform at your best and consistently at your best.